Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the master bathroom video. The master bathroom video is going to be kind of a mishmash of different things that I filmed. I didn't do the best at filming the whole entire renovation of it, but I did get bits and pieces and I can kind of fill in the gaps for you by narrating some of it. So let's start off at the beginning. As you'll see from this footage right here at the planning, um, there was a washer and dryer in the space that is now the shower. And you'll hear me talk about that right now. That's the back of the wall. It's getting pushed out all the way to here. So this hole, thing is going to be a shower basically in that bathroom. Now instead of having this cramped bathroom, we'll have a bunch more space, which is this is that room right across there is where they're working directly. So we'll have a much bigger shower and get a wide angle. Be much bigger in here. All right, so as you saw, washer and dryer I didn't think should be in the kitchen. Move them downstairs, put this shower in, and move the whole wall of the bathroom out to where the kitchen was a flat wall and then the bathroom was a lot bigger. As you can see, it's a very open concept, right? The whole house is, right? To where the floor to the ceiling is open, no doorway, just this curtain which goes back and forth in case you want some privacy. And the same goes for the shower, right? So from the floor, to the ceiling is open. No window, no glass, no nothing. Just this partition wall to keep water from splashing out this way over there. I've had very good success with just getting a tiny bit of water on this rug down here and nothing else too crazy. Not a lot of water spillage, which I was a little bit surprised with. So it worked out well. So here in a second, I'll show you some of the build process, but first I'll show you the demolition from that side over by the shower. Then I'll show you kind of how I put this whole vanity together. This was a P this is the existing vanity that was here. All I did was a I used appliance epoxy spray paint from Rust-Oleum, I believe, and I painted the surface and it was while all the other stuff was off, so I didn't have to mask off anything. It was really super easy to do. And this has definitely impressed me. It has like a, a weathered, like used look to it, but I think that's good for something like a bathroom vanity because you're less afraid to like get water and toothpaste and whatever, like my beard oils and stuff like that on it. You're less afraid to use it, I think, if it looks beat up maybe. If it was all clean and shiny, I'd be like, oh no, I'm gonna mess it up. But you know, that's not the case because this looks weathered and used. So I like that a lot. The mirror, which has the LED outline here, you probably saw the video on the channel about that, how to install it. It works pretty cool. It's got the uh, the light, you just hit that, you hit that, you can, you can hold it to dim it down like that. It dims down. You can hold it again to brighten it back up. And then this is a anti-fog function with heat, which heats the middle of the mirror up. It doesn't heat the whole mirror up, but you get a clean mirror when you get out of the shower, at least the middle section of it. But yeah, we put a tile backsplash, the same tile that's in the shower, onto the sink here. All I did was, again, spray this uh, top with the appliance epoxy. Then I painted the bottom here a light gray, and then I went and took these uh, the vanity doors, and I sanded them down, primed them, and painted them black and all new hardware on all the things that open and close. These things don't. Also new sinks and faucets and stops and everything, but that's just kind of like Home Depot specials. We just slapped in there because they fit. All right, so first let's show you the demolition of everything. That was a fun time. It, it, it is really cool to do, to tear a house apart, safely of course, but to just rip into it, it's fun. We call him the wrecking ball because he's a big Miley Cyrus fan. <laughs> This is where the sledgehammer would have came in handy. Should push. Yes. You can put the Dude, I cannot put wait. The Same time. <laughs> Imagine like a fucking sitting there just getting rained down upon with sh with, with clean water. <laughs> As you're, you don't have toilet paper at that point. You don't need toilet paper. No, you just bend over. Like, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's above head bidet. Yes, it's an overhead bidet. <laughs> right. And now that all this is torn out, we now frame to make this outside wall right here. It's great because it's above the shower, so this, we'll get the, the this shingles that are... The shower. You're arguing with the guy with the camera right now. You're making me look real bad on YouTube, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do shit like that, man. 
I hired you guys with the understanding I was gonna be the expert here. You got the hips going in it. Hit the hips, dude. <laughs> Alright, that was the fun part. Now I'm gonna show you the process of how I kind of went about making this vanity the way it is now. All I gotta do is sandpaper the top. I'm gonna use a 150 grit and get this down to a 150 grit. Uh, basically, you're just scoring the surface so that this sticks better apparently. And if you're going to do coats, you have to do coats pretty close to each other within 20 minutes. So I'm going to do two, two coats. This is the appliance epoxy and it is black. It's like a gloss black. So yeah, let's get to it. And this right here is our paint right here. Um, you can get this on Amazon, but you can also get it at most uh, hardware stores. Sometimes the colors are limited. Uh, I'll link it. I'll link this one down below the Amazon link. So if you want to just purchase it on Amazon, you can go ahead and shake it up. for a second coat and I bought three cans of this I way overdid it this one can is covering this double vanity so if you're doing a double vanity you should be safe with just getting one can so something to keep in mind all right so now the countertop has two coats of the appliance epoxy on it next and, and it looks it looks pretty good um, it could be a little bit smoother. I'll probably sand it down and add one more coat. But for what it does, for the price, is really, really cool. All right, now we paint. Oh, that's got good coverage. Now we move on to painting. I'm gonna use this bare marquee. Guys, I've used a lot of cheap paint in the past and I've heard, and I heard that um, using, uh, using good quality paint makes a difference. Um, it does. This is a, a great deal for the money. I think it's like 40 a gallon or something like that. Um, but the way this goes on, and it really is a one coat thing, I'll show you. I'm only gonna do one coat on this. Um, but yeah, let's try it out. Let's see what it looks like. Let's go. All right, so we got our cabinet faces laid out on this uh, sheet of wood across some, uh, whatever those are called. A uh, few things, number one, we're not gonna be making fun of my hairline and we're not gonna be making fun of the sturdy garage because cyberbullying is a crime and I will prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. But anyways, <laughs> um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna first clean them off with this. I found this at this back home uh, hardware store, it's called Clean Strip. I decided to grab that just to see if it works instead of making a second trip to uh, Lowe's or Menards or something like that. Okay, so I just read the instructions on this and I just realized what it is. And this is like something you leave on and it's like almost like a liquid sandpaper kind of thing. So you leave it on for like 15 minutes and you scrape it off and you're be, you should be able to skip the sanding process. So we're gonna try it on one first because I don't know how this process works. So we're gonna try it on one and we'll see how that works. 
Let's do it. Some on here. I don't know how much. And this should be good for getting in these crevices here on this, like all these little uh, slots in this cabinet door. Start scraping. Oh yeah, something's coming off. Definitely. All right, and here's a little bit of the clips of like the assembly of the shower. I didn't get the best um, footage of that. I was, number one, it was kind of tight quarters in here. So, get, so getting a camera in here and getting it right up, in, right up into the action was a little bit hard because it was, would slow things down a lot. Um, uh, but basically it's just tile and Schluter and some big pink rubber seal thing and a floor pan and like grading the tiles down into the drain there. I wanted a really nice, really cool shower and I wanted a big, huge rainfall shower head. If you've never had a big rain, this is like a big, big, big rainfall shower head. If you've never experienced it, if you've never had one, get one, try it out. It's a game changer. I wanted it hanging from the ceiling. So I did that. I got the uh, Delta faucet uh, handle thing. And then in the side, we built in a little like a hutch for like the shampoos and conditioners and body washes and beard stuff uh, for me from a beard into the back of it there. We got the whole wall roughed in. We decided not to go soft, decided to go rough with it. So we roughed it in. We got our valve installed. We got our PEX run. PEX short for plastic explosion, of course. It's like a C4 variant. Hey, keep it together, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Floor. And we're putting in the bottom parts of the drywall. You said tile's going on the floor today? Yep. Nice. So we got everything walled off on this side. If you remember, the washer and dryer used to be behind there. So this is all walled up, and Randy is now getting some mud and done. And then this is the uh, framing for the shower itself. So the faucet's gonna be on the right hand side. You control the faucet over there. And then it's gonna be a shower head coming out the top right there, a rainfall over here. And it's really big in here. Hard to tell, but it's gonna be a nice big shower for sure. So the floor is coming along. That is so nasty. Got yeah, two rows of tile on the edge there. All right, so this is probably the last day before uh, the tile's all finished. This is the tile that is going on the ground here. Let me get you kind of a, it's like a concrete kind of look. Then the shower is almost done. We got one more row and it worked out perfectly because it's gonna be one even row of tile after this, no small gap or anything. Everything is pretty much tiled up. Is the entrance to the shower right here. And then the ceiling will be painted white. Wall paint coming soon. So we're cleaning up the inside here. These tiles down on the floor. And these are all getting wiped down. But yeah guys, here's kind of a little walk in and pan around to the bathroom. You can see the kind of concept of just of it. It's a very grayscale look as, along with the rest of the house. It's a very grayscale. I'm colorblind as crap, okay? Not as crap, but I'm pretty dang colorblind. So keeping things at a grayscale of white, black, and gray basically eliminates the, the possibility of me making things look stupid and not even knowing it. Um, and I like the look of grayscale as well. So. Being colorblind, grayscale is the way to go. It's actually pretty trendy right now too, so that works out. Um, but I'm making this house for me. I'm not making this house to resell or put back on the market. This is for me to live in for a long time. But anyways, guys, that is the master bathroom build. I appreciate you hanging out this long, checking it out. 
The channel's uploads have been a little slow because I've been filming everything. It's almost done as of right now, as you're watching this video, the, the renovation is almost done. So there'll be a ton of videos starting to be pumped out here pretty soon. So sit, subscribe if you're into the kind of renovation stuff. If you like what I'm doing here, you can subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Um, uh, like the video if this helped you out at all. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I might be able to help you out with certain specific things on what a paint color was this, what spray rattle can was that, what sink is that, what type of tile. The tile's from floor and decor. Um, it's like a 36 by 20 or something. I forgot what it was. Big, big, huge tile. So anyways, throw a comment down below if you need a specific question answered. And as always, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye.